ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚ ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದುಭವಶ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಜನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರ್ಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಕದಾಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭೂತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದು ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪುಹಾರ ವರಾನುಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ್ಚಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ದೇ ಸಂಬಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಕ್ಷೀರಂ ಯಥಾ ದಧಿ 
विकार विशेष जोगत संजायते नहीं ततः पृथकस्ति हेतु ज संबुदम उपी समित कार्यात गोविंद मादि पुरुषम तम अहम भजा गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपाद जगत गुरु टोल दैट भगवत कृपा कमिंग टू आस थ्रू तत्प्रकाश तत्शक्ति एक्सेट्रा गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपाद जगत गुरु टोल एक्चुअली भगवत कृपा कमिंग टू आस थ्रू तत्प्रकाश तत्शक्ति एक्सेट्रा नॉट डायरेक्टली नो बॉडी कैन गेट भगवत कृपा डायरेक्टली इट्स इम्पॉसिबल ऑलवेज यू सी तत्प्रकाश तत्शक्ति ऑल ओवर गुरु वर्ग तत्शक्ति तत्प्रकाश विग्रह एक्सेट्रा थ्रू तत्प्रकाश तत्शक्ति वी कैन गेट कृपा नॉट डायरेक्टली इन श्रीमद भागवत जी महापुराण और ऑल आदर पुराण यू कैन सी ऑल डिफरेंट पुराण यू कैन गो थ्रू यू कैन फाइंड दैट ऑलवेज इट इज रिटिन श्री शंकर उवाच यू फाइन शंकर उवाच श्री नारद उवाच श्री शंकर उवाच ऑलवेज वेन एवर यू रीड भागवतम पुराण एनी थिंग यू कैन सी द समटाइम यू कैन फाइन नारद उवाच समाइम सनक उवाच मैक्सिम समाइम शंकर उवाच नारद उवाच मैक्सिम मैक्सिम यू कैन फाइन शंकर उवाच शंकर जगत गुरु नारदी महाराज जगत गुरु भक्तावेश अवतार ऑलवेज यू कैन फाइन दे आर गिविंग एडवाइस टू आस ऑल द टाइम यू कैन फाइन दे आर गिविंग एडवाइस टू आस दे आर ऑलवेज ट्राइंग टू डिलीवर कॉमन सोल इट इज देयर ड्यूटी दे हैव नो पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट नदिंग नथिंग स्पेशली फॉर शंकर भगवान वी कैन से is the example of vaishnav nimno ganam in bhagavatam you can find nimno ganam yatha ganga devanam achyuto yatha vaishnavanam yatha sambhu purananam tu idam bhagavatam nimno ganam yatha ganga among all rivers in nimno ganam mane from hilly places ganga jamuna taking birth ha huh? Jamuna, we cannot compare because Jamuna is coming from Golok Vrindavan. It cannot be compared. Ganga, Adi, Kaveri, all other rivers, you know, Nimno Ganam Yatha Ganga, among all rivers, position of Ganga, Ganga Devi is up. Nimno Ganam Yatha Ganga, Devanam Achyuto Yatha, and among all, you know. देवा पर देवता भगवान श्री कृष्ण इज टॉप मोस्ट अच्युत अच्युत मीन ही इज नेवर डिसप्लेस फ्रॉम इज ओन पोजिशन अच्युत मीन इज नेवर डिसप्लेस फ्रॉम इज ओन पोजिशन दैट्स वाई इज नेम इज अच्युत सो निम्न गानम यथा गंगा देवानम अच्युत यथा एंड वैष्णव आनम यथा शंभु एंड एमंग वैष्णवज एमंग वैष्णवज शंभु शंकर भगवान इज टॉप मोस्ट एमंग ऑल वैष्णव शंकर भगवान इज टॉप मोस्ट निम्न गानम यथा गंगा देवानम अच्छुत यथा वैष्णवानम यथा शंभु पुराणानम तु इदम भागवतम एंड भागवतम भागवत जी महापुराण इज टॉप मोस्ट ऑल पुराण देयर इज एटीन पुराण्स इंक्लूडिंग भागवतम श्रीमद भागवत जी महापुराण इज टॉप मोस्ट दिस वे वी सी दैट शंकर भगवान इज टॉप मोस्ट वैष्णव बट एक्सटर्नली वी कैन फाइंड ही इज विथ सम अवैष्णव बेस एक्सटर्नल एक्सटर्नल गारमेंट एवरीथिंग एक्सटर्नल 
you know, a Vaishnav. We cannot find his Vaishnav. Always staying in crematorian ground, applying as follow. Uh, all the time we can find. It's like, you know, a Vaishnav. It's not at all Vaishnav. In the slow, externally he can take the garment of a Vaishnav, but internally he is Param Vaishnav. Internally he is Absolute Vaishnav. There is no doubt. Like if somebody giving service to government in police department, but he is Vaishnav. We know so many cases. District Magistrate, my Guru Mahārāj told. District Magistrate is dealing with all, you know, criminal, everybody. But internally, Guru Mahārāj saying he is so great Vaishnav. In boyhood, Guru Mahārāj and his friend went to take darshan of that District Magistrate. He is Vaishnav, like Bhakti Thakur. So externally, Rup Shunathan, working with Muslim government, but internally, great Vaishnav. So, this way, externally you can find that Sankar Bhagavan is not at all Vaishnav. Internally, externally you can find that he is not at all Vaishnav. But internally we know he is great Vaishnav, he is Paramangsha Vaishnav, not ordinary Vaishnav. And many times I told from Bhagavatam, those who are Paramangsha, those who are Avadhut, those who are Paramangsha, those who are Avadhut, for them there is no so hard and fast rule. You cannot impose some rules and regulation on them. They are already, they are already regulated by the divine prem, love affair. Their life they are ev each and every action is controlled by love affair with Krishna. So it is exclusive. So, many times I told that externally you can find Avadhut Sanyasi, Avadhut Paramangsha can do something else. But internally, Jnananishto, Virakto, Madhvakto, Anapekshakaha, Shalinganam asramam stakta charet avidi gochara. Gyananishto viraktova madhvaktova anapekshakaha. Shalinganam asramam stakta charet avidi gochara. They are beyond any rules and regulation. They are beyond, beyond any rules and regulation, like I told you already. I already told. That Madhavindu Puripat begging for excuse, apology. Madhavindu Puripat speaking to Supreme Lord, Ho oh Prabhu, I have no time to take bath. I have no time to chant Annik. So you can misunderstand what is this? A devotee, a devotee can never speak this way. But he is speaking. Shandha Vandanam Namas Tubhyam Bho Snam Tubhyam Namaha. Oh Shandha Vandan, I have no time. What you are doing? You are busy? Well, yes, always busy. With Bhagavad Seva, direct Seva. So Shandha Vandanam Namas Tubhyam Bho Snam, I have no time to take bath. Our Parampuja Kesha Goswami, I used to take bath once in a month. You, you can go mad. But there is no bad smell, nothing in the body, transcendental body. No time to take bath. Once in a month, full month, one. But whereas you are taking three times, two times. This way, this way about Madhavendra Puripad or Paramangsho Avadhut Joshua, those who are Avadhut, for them you cannot in, uh, apply any rules and regulations. It's not possible. So, Gyananishto Viraktova Madhvaktova Anapekshakaha Shalingana Asram Sakta Charit Avidi Guchara. They are beyond any rules and regulation. You cannot apply rules and regulation to them. That's why better you can keep a safe, safe distance from this kind of Vaishnava. 
Because if you come too near, if you come too near to this, that kind of Guru Vaishnava, you can misunderstand. Oh, yes. That's why, if somebody asking from Prabhupada, we like to go and take darshan of, you know, Paramahansa, Bhangshidas Bhavaji Maharaj, go, no, 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 don't go. Don't go. You can misunderstand him. Their activities, what they are doing, what they are speaking, you cannot understand. This way, we see Shankar Bhagavan is topmost Vaishnava, no doubt in it. Now, question is that the sloka I started with is very important slok here. Kiram Yatha Vishesh Vikar Vishesh Jogat. Kiram Yada Dodhi. Sorry. Kiram Yada Kiram Yatha Dodhi. Kiram Yatha Dodhi. Vikar Vishesh Jogat. Kiram Yatha Dodhi. Vikar Vishesh Jogat Sanjayate Nahi Tataha Prithakasti Hetu. Ja Sambhutam Opi Sampoiti Karjat. Govinda Madi Purusham Tamaham Bajam. Brahma Sangita is most authentic scripture. Follow. Brahma Sangita and Krishna Karnamrita, both the books we are getting by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went South Indian trip, from there Chaitanya Mahaprabhu collecting this Brahma Sangita and Krishna Karnamrita. So they are those, these two, these two. Very authentic book. So, it's a very documentary. So, there it is written that a kira, kira means milk. Milk, na? Milk, you know, can be converted, milk can be converted into yoga, dahi, card. Follow. Milk can be converted into card. Vishesha Vikara Yoga, catalyst, you know, catalyst. In chemistry, we can find catalyst. Catalyst means which can expedite the reaction. Suppose I like to make some chemical reaction. Two object I need. By here I put some external object inside it. It can act as catalyst. Catalyst means? Catalyst means can help to help to happen the reaction. Can help to happen the reaction very quickly. That is called catalyst. It's called catalyst. It's called catalyst. So catalyst, the duty of catalyst is to expedite the reaction. So this way, Brahma Sangita, from Brahma Sangita we can find. Kiram Jatha Dodhi Bikaro Vishesh Jogat Kiram Jatha Dodhi Bikaro Vishesh Jogat. So milk can be converted into cart, but cart can never be converted into again. If I like, you give me back milk, you can convert it to cart, but if I ask you, give me back the milk, you cannot give me. Now, question is that there is every possibility that you can misunderstand of this sloka. Because you can first, you can first put question in front of you, in front of me, that Maharaj, Krishna, Krishna can never undergo any reaction. But you say in the sloka that Bhagavan Sri Krishna you know, taking the form of Sankar Bhagavan. In Sloka we see that Bhagavan Sri Krishna taking the form of Sankar. And also you speaking the Sloka, Kiram Jatha Dodhi Vikara Vishesha Jogat. Vikara Jogat. Vikara means deformation. There is one procedure through which it is uh, gradually taking the deformation. And it is converted into milk is converted into into cart. Now question is that how it is possible that Krishna can undergo some reaction and can be converted in, and Krishna can you know 
get converted into Shankar, not that. So this Siddhanta is wrong. Sloka is okay, but you are miss but you are going to misunderstand. Sloka is okay, sloka no. Here by this sloka it is written. Here by this sloka it is written that there is the conception of there is a conception of you know cause and effect. There is a conception of cause and effect. Follow. There is a conception of cause and effect. But you think otherwise. Cause and effect. This way, this analogy that milk can be converted into yogurt, the analogy given just for this reason, so that you can understand that cause and effect. Krishna is the original, co original cause. Ishwaraha Paramakishto Satchidananda Vigraha Anadi Radhi Govindu Sarva Karana Karana. Any reason you find here, anything you find here, the original reason is Krishna. That's why to substantiate this you know, thing, it is written. Now question is that, if Krishna is going to take the form of Sankar Bhagavan, then why Shankar Bhagavan become angry? This question come, come. We can give some example from Shastra. Why Shankar Bhagavan become sometime angry? Whereas we know, whereas we know, when Brigumuni wanted to, whereas we know, when Brigumuni wanted to test, under the guidance of all demigods and Rishi Mani. They wanted to test among, they wanted to test among Sh Brahma, Sankar and Vishnu, who is the topmost. They wanted to test. There is a, I cannot speak so long thing, so long discussion. So, Brigumani was given the responsibility to, to test and find out which Tattva is topmost. Then Brigumani approached Shankar Bhagavan, Brigumani approached Brahma, ultimately Brigumani is going to re reach Vishnu by Kuntha to reach and going to provide a kick on the chest of Nara and Vishnu. And Vishnu immediately, oh my God, my heart is so strong like iron. So your leg is so soft, Brahman. So maybe you are, you know, feeling some pain. So let me massage your leg. Vishnu speaking. Whereas when Bhigu Maharaj wanted to meet with Shankar, meet me, it is one of testing, you know, going to test. Shankar Bhagavan watching Bhigu coming, immediately running to embrace. And Bhigu said, don't touch me, you are dirty. Don't touch me, you are dirty. You are applying, you know, ashes from funeral, funeral, in a pyre. Ashes, and you are, you know, not pure, don't touch me. But, he wanted to kill. Then flying. This way, going to reach Brahma, follow, and not paying Dandavat purposely to see. Then Brahma, thinking, what kind of adversity you have? Eh? You are coming in front of it, then flying from there. This we are ultimately going to reach Vaikuntha, and there going to get, get, uh, provide a kick on the chest of Bhagavan. It's long, you know, incident. So this way it was proved that Vishnu is the topmost tattva. Also, I discussed from, you know, that our Parikhit Maharaj asking, Parikhit Maharaj asking to Shukadev Goswami, Gurudev. Hey Gurudev, it is a big fallacy. What fallacy? But uh, those who are worshipping Durga Devi, Devi Maya, 
those who are worshiping Sankar, those going to worship Ganapati, Ganapati Maharaj, they are all getting big affluences. Huh? Mal, money, money, position, everything. Whereas those who are usually worshipping Krishna, their position is very poor. Why so? They are very poor, niskin chan, or they are begging something and taking. Why? Because Krishna is the Supreme Lord. So why so? Why so? Because if there is somebody going to worship Sankar, they are getting money position. If somebody is going to worship Durga, they are getting money position, everything. Ganapati Maharaj or so many devotees. Whereas those who are usually worshipping, they are niskinchan. They have no money, no position. If somebody is going to kick them, they will okay, okay, nice, nice. Why so? They have no revenge. They have no, you know, revenge mood. They, are, they never like to take revenge again anymore. Vaishnavas are very simple. At present, situation is totally different. <laughs> In the name of, you know, Vaishnav, they are taking, you know, revenge, everything, like to do so many things. So this is not the standard. I am saying a standard thing. So, when Sukhdeva Goswami, when when in front of Sukhdev Goswami, Parikhidman asking this, why so? Then I many times told before, Sukhdev Goswami giving answer, that actually this is happening. Why? Because, Hari hi nirguno shakshat purushaha prakate pare. Because Hari, Hari is nirguno. Hari, this tattva is beyond this material conception, beyond the influence of Maya. Harir hi nirguno shakshat purushaha prakete pare. Sa sarvodrik upardashta tang bhajano nirguno bhavet. Sa sarvodrik upardashta. Bhagavan sitting inside heart of it as paramatpa, super soul. Hari is beyond this material conception. And you are speaking about Sankha, Devi, all other demigods. They are, they are, they are, they are, you know, tattva, material tattva, not aprakita tattva. Now, again, question can come. Just you told, Sankar Bhagavan is Vaishnava. Just now and again you told that it is prakita tattva. How I can reconcile? Just you told, na. Huh? Just a few minutes before I told that Shankar Bhagavan, I mean this Shiva Tattva is a Prakita Tattva. At the same time I told is Prakita Tattva. How you can reconcile this Tattva too? And I can show you many times Shankar Bhagavan become angry. Whereas you can, we can, you can never find Bhagavan become angry. So how you can recover? What is the Siddhanta? Point is that though we know Sankar Bhagavan is Tattva, is Aprakita Tattva, Vaishnav Tattva. Vaishnav Tattva means Aprakita Tattva, no doubt even. But still, Bhagavan, Sankar is going to take the responsibility from Bhagavan, Supreme Lord. Bhagavan Sankar is going to take the responsibility from Sank from Supreme Lord, what responsibility? To get control over Tamagun. Tamagun Adhishthati Devota, try to realize, don't forget. Tamagun is controlled by Sankar Bhagavan. Rajagun is controlled by eh? Brahma. And Shatagun is controlled by Vishnu. Try to remember. Rajogun is controlled by Brahma. That's why Brahma always feeling some entrepreneurship. Make this, 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 uh, so Rajogun. Ah, I can make it, this, that. Rajogun. So this kind of mood is there with Brahma. But still, still I can prove our previous Acharya. Guru is Brahma. Somebody is going to mis misinterpret. Somebody is going to mis, you know, have some misconception about Brahma. 
They say Brahma is useless. They say, no, some Acharya here. All Rabbi speaking is the idiot number one. He have no conception about Brahma. Are Brahma actually is you know Brahma our previous guru na? Eh? Krishna is the Chaturmukh. Krishna is the Chaturmukh. from Krishna. Brahma was initiated by Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Krishna is the Chaturmukh. Why Krishna seven? Brahma is the Narodhiramati. You know foolish. So how we can say your previous such a useless idiot? Cannot say. Even people passing command that Brahma, well, Brahma is there, but Brahma has no conception about Rasa Tattva. Why? Why Brahma has no, no, eh? you are going to insult your previous Guru Varga? Whereas we know from Brahma Sangita that Brahma initiated by Bhagavan directly. Dija Sanskrita, Sanskar. Brahman initiation done by Bhagavan, by mantra. At the same time, we know he is receiving Kam Gayatri also. Follow, you can go. If you don't believe, go and read. You can find Brahma receiving Kam Gayatri from Bhagavan. So, Kam Gayatri mean? Kam Gayatri mean? I already told in Chaitanya Jari, it is in Kam Gayatri, Kam, Kam Bich, Kam Gayatri, Jar Aradhan. Aprakita Kam Dev. Aprakita Kamdev, who is Aprakita Kamdev? Nanda Nanda Sri Krishna. Nanda Nanda Sri Krishna means Aprakita Kamdev. Aprakita Kamdev means he is busy with eh? all Gopikas. Ananda Chenamaya Raso Pratibha Vitavi Tavirja Eva Nijarupa Taya Kalavi. Yes, sir. So, how you can say Brahma has no idea about Rasa Tattva? A wrong conception. He is getting, whereas he is getting. Come get the Kambish from Bhagavan. Are you going to insult him? So, actually, Brahma is going to take the responsibility of this material world. Huh? Material creation. The responsibility given. I already discussed, you know, fifth canto about, you know, this uh, Priyabrata. I already told. Through Bhagavatam, you can go, I discussed. There, Brahma speaking. Oh, my grandson, my boy, I am getting responsibility from Bhagavan. I am discharging my duty. Bhagavan giving me this seva. And Sankar Bhagavan giving responsibility of getting uh, to control tamagun, destruction. So we are going to follow the Supreme Lord. Nobody can violate him. Brahma speaking to his grandson, Priyabhata. Oh, my son, nobody can violate the instruction of Bhagavan. We are we are bound to follow him. So I am also going to do a dis discharge my duty. So why not you come and take control you know, this way? So Sankar Bhagavan going to take the responsibility of Tamagun. Okay. Sankar Bhagavan getting control. Just now, half an hour before, I told you if somebody acting as district magistrate. If somebody acting as High Court Judge or Supreme Court Judge, if somebody asking acting as big, big legal advisor, but suppose he is great Vishnu, what to do? He will have to keep balance, na? In your, eh? he has to keep balance, na? Inside Vishnu, but outside, his judge is giving death sentence for this murder case. You are given. Death sentence. How possible? You have to give. Like Bhakti Thakur, giving order to arrest Bhiskishan and take to hell, to jail. He was fighting with Bhakti Thakur. Mantra, Tantra, black magic, wanted to kill all the sons of Bhakti Thakur. But Bhakti Thakur said, okay, whatever you like to do. I can kill you. Okay, you killed me. Ja. So it's great Vaishnava, but still doing follow. This way, Sankar Bhagavan, inside great Vaishnav, Paramahansa Vaishnav, inside, externally, going to take charge of Tamagun. Because of this reason, Vishwanath Chakodya is speaking, because of this reason, Sankar Bhagavan, sometime going to show angry attitude. Follow. This is the reason. 
Internally is Vaishnav. Externally he is taking the responsibility of Tamagun. So he is going to some angry Brahma also. Rajagun. Rajagun gets control. So though internally see, he is Vaishnav, Param Vaishnav, but still externally going to show some angry attitude against somebody. But about Vishnu Tattva, you can find, just now I told that Vishnu going to take charge of Satagun. Just now I told. Now question is there, Mara Satagun, Satagun is also material thing. Satagun in the material world, in material world, Sato, Rajo, Tamo, any quality, all material. So how you say? Vishnu is getting control over Satagun. But this Satagun is also material gun. How you can say? Solution is that it is written that though Sankar Bhagavan, though our Vishnu Tattva is Turiya Tattva, beyond any material concept, a Prakita Tattva, still he is going to get control over Satagun, but he is never influenced by the Satagun. His magic spell, his power. Like Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, I am. I am everywhere in this material world. You are everywhere in the material world. But just now we told you are beyond the material. Yes. In Chatu, a Chatu Sloki, Chatu Sloki Bhagavata, you know. Oh, Mivasa Mevagre Nanda Jasa Satpuram Pascha the Ham Jade Tacha Jova Sisuos Mi Aham. Eh? Pravishtanu Pravishtanu Tata Tishu not Ishu Aham. I am. Everywhere, where not? Any dust particle you can collect? Any dust particle you can collect, there is also Bhagavan. But Bhagavan speaking, I am everywhere in the material world. At the same time, I am nowhere. Hey, what is this? You are everywhere present. You are omnipresent. At the same time, you are speaking, I am nowhere. How possible? Inconceivable. Achinta Shakti. This by the help of this Achinta Shakti, when Bhagavan Sri Krishna coming in the material world, Bhagavan Sri Krishna coming in the material world, he is beyond this material world of Prakita, but still become angry. Why you are not giving breast milk and sufficiently? Become angry. Going to take one stick and going to break one stone and going to get, break the pot of yoga, you know. So we see Bhagavan Sikhs no become angry. But you say no angry? Yes, angry. It purposely. It is one kind of Leela. So Sankar Bhagavan is going to exhibit this kind of Leela. Though he is Paramahansa, another special tattva I like to discuss. There is some misunderstanding about this tattva. We have the clear idea about the Sadasip Tattva. You know Sadasip Tattva? Sadasip Tattva staying in Vaikuntha Jagat. While I was discussing about Advaita Gosai, I was speaking, Advaita Gosai is Sadasip Tattva. Advaita Gosai is Sadasip Tattva, I, I already told, is non different from Vishnu Tattva, Eki. Only the difference between this, only the difference is this, that Mahavishnu is going to look, going to look at Maya, and by looking, he is going to transfer all countless jiva of previous kalpa, going to turn, transfer into the womb of Maya Devi, and accordingly Maya Devi is going to give birth to tiger, elephant, man, woman, you know. This way. I already told that. Mahavishnu Jagatkarta Mayayaj Jasriyati Adaha Tashavatar Eva Yam Advaita Chaju Iswara. So Sadashiv Tattva is Vishnu Tattva, non different from Vishnu Tattva. And Sadashiv Tattva, where staying? Well, it is, you know, 
this is called where you are, where, where, where you have taken birth. It's called Devi Dham. Devi Maheshu Dham Teshu Teshu Te Te Prabhava Nichaya Vihitascha Jena is upper upper. Bhur Bhubaswa Mahajana Tapasutva upper. Lower. Lower also seven loka, upper also. So in between we are Martha loka. We are Martha loka. Martha mean? Martha mean? This is Devi Dham. We are going to die. So if you can transcend, transcend, you know, one rocket I like to push up with full calculation, due calculation, everything. I can give fuel, liquid oxygen, everything, and the rocket going on. Transcend. Transcend means gravitational acceleration. I can give the escape velocity. Escape velocity means to cut to cut the influence of gravitational acceleration. Escape velocity mean, escape velocity mean to give the velocity by the help of which the rocket easily can go and go and cut the gravitational acceleration and according to my calculation of axis, in which axis that a satellite can go and, you know, and there it can start orbiting. Follow what I say. Similarly, when you can cut by the mercy of Guru Vaishnava, if you can cut all Maya, everything, first go up and up and cut everything, even Brahmalok you are going to transcend. Brahmalok you don't like. From Brahmalok you can touch Biraja, infinity ocean, Biraja river, transcendental ocean. Biroja, and after Biroja, you will have to cut Biroja, and after Biroja, you can enter Vaikuntha Jagat. First of all, you can meet with impersonal Brahma effulgent. First of all, if you can cut this way, transcend, then first you can reach Brahma Loka ultimately, and from Brahma Loka, you will have to cut the water. Huh? You have to cut water and go. Biroja and cut, then you can then you can get you can meet with you know you can meet with impersonal Brahma effulgence. Then you can meet with then you can meet with impersonal Brahma effulgence. Follow first of all. So impersonal Brahma effulgence mean the body you know from body of Bhagavan because from body of Bhagavan one kind of you know, light coming. That is called impersonal bomo effulgence and all demonic character people, mayavadis, they are going to submerge with that Brahma Sajujo. You heard the name of Brahma Sajujo. It's called submerge with Brahma. Brahma Sajujo. Brahma Sajujo doesn't mean, Brahma Sajujo doesn't mean that chit, that Atma can go and meet with Brahma and become Brahma. Is a particle of Brahma. Try to understand. There is a big green green bush, you know. In Africa, the green bush all around. One green bird, one green bird flying and could enter into the green bush. Where is the bird? You cannot see. Green bush, and the green bird going to enter into the green bush. Green and green, matching, cannot find. This is the example. Someday I can discuss. Before also I discuss many times about Mayabad Bichar. Now point is that, those who want to get Brahma Sajujya, they are going to meet with impersonal Brahma. After that you will have to cut. Then you can meet with Shadashi Dham. After Brahma, after this uh, Brahma Jyoti, Brahma effulgence, then you will have to cut and then you can enter into Sadasib Loka. Sadasib Loka is within the area of Vaikuntha. Sadasib Loka is non different from Vaikuntha. Vaikuntha Jagat. Still have some speciality. 
is called original Shiv Tattva. Shada Shiv Tattva. Shada Shiv Tattva, Advaita Gosai, Shada Shiv Tattva. I already told Mahavishnu can only when the next Kalpa, you know, next Kalpa, I mean the question of creation coming, one destruction after the new Kalpa. Then Bhagavan Sri Krishna looking at Mayadavi, by looking, Bhagavan going to give all Jivatma, you know, into the womb of Mayadavi, his potency, by the help of which Mayadavi is going to give birth to different kind of species, this way. So this way, so Mahavishnu only, Mahavishnu only going to look at Mahadevi. No direct connection. No direct connection. Whereas our Sadashiv Tattva going to supply with ingredients, matter. Follow. Sadashiv Tattva going to supply with matter like I already give example, you forget the example of a spider. Spider you can find in a room, spider gradually going to take some tile in, you know, from mouth, some pigment from mouth, and going to make a net, network, very nice spider net. After that, going to give, you know, after that, if the purpose is over, if the purpose, the reason for why is spider making, you know, you know, make a spider net. When the job, when his purpose is over, purpose going to eat up, eat up all the spider. Same example I told from Gajendra Mokshon. Same example I told two, uh, two five days before. I same example I give Yatro Yeno Yato Yasho Yasmai Yad Yad Yatha Yada. All the Karak Karakman case ending. Case ending no? by whom? Why? From where? This kind of you know case, case, and a case ending coming now. Who is doing? By whom? By the help of which? You know. Which way? From where? When? All this question coming, all can originally can show Krishna. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I can come, the Guru Purnim coming. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu discussing Sanskrit grammar in the last stage, Mahaprabhu always speaking Krishna. Students speaking, previously we never used to explain that way. Always we were explaining any sutra, formula, you are speaking Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Okay, it's okay. But still, previously used to give lesson very nicely. Now we I don't understand. Every time a grammar, Sanskrit grammar is speaking is Krishna, you see. <laughs> All. Mahapu speaking, I am speaking, you know, because I cannot speak anything except Krishna. I cannot speak anything about except Krishna. My situation is this condition. Anyway, so this way we find that Advaita Gosai is going to supply with all ingredients for the creation of this material world. And Sadasip Tattva is the original Sip Tattva. And this, you know, in this material world, we can find Sip Tattva in Kailas is simultaneously different and non different. Try to understand. The Shiv Tattva in Kailas simultaneously different and non-different from the Sadasya. How? That I can discuss. Point is that sometime in this whole creation, if some Jivatma is qualified to take the post of Brahma, first of all I discuss about Brahma, in whole creation, inwards, if, if some jiva, if some jiva, if some jiva become qualified to take the post of Brahma, then he can be given that post. Then he can be given this post of Brahma. If not, 
if not such jivatma found, in that case, Bhagavan himself is going to take the form of Brahma. Follow? In that case, Bhagavan himself is going to take the form of Brahma. So that Brahma, when no jivatma available, qualified, then Bhagavan himself taking the form of Brahma for creation. Follow? Is one Brahma. And if some Jivatma become qualified and the power translated by Bhagavan to him for the creation, like in Chatusloka Sloka we find, Bhagavan giving blessing to Brahma. Bhavan kalpa vikalpa se na bhimai yad karhi chit. Rite artham yad pratiyeta na pratiyeta chatmani tad vidvat atmano mayam jathavasa jathatamaha jatha mahanti bhutani bhutesu chapashi yonu pravishtanna bhavishtani tathati sunatishu etava deva jigyasam tatta jigyas sunatanaha annai vati rikabhyam jatsa sarvadu sarvada. Etat matam samatishto parameno samadhina Bhavano kalpa vikalpeshi na bhimujjati karchit. Bhavan, you. If you are going to follow my rules and regulations, then no maya can touch. Bhagavan speaking. Hello, five and twenty. Bhavan, no, Bhavan, no, I know. Bhavan, man, you. You are not going to be hypnotized. You are not going to be hypnotized by my maya. Hello. This way, etat matam, the Siddhanta Bichar I am speaking to you. All the Siddhanta Bichar now I am speaking to you. If you can accept it all Siddhanta from heart, etat matam samatishto. If you get, you can, if you can get established in Tata Siddhanta, what I am speaking to you, then Bhagavan speaking, etat matam samatishto paramenu samadhina. By absolute samadhi meditation, by the help of absolute meditation, no other, no dual conception, only you can see me. Paramena samadhina means absolute meditation. Absolute meditation means without Krishna Charan, I cannot see anything. Follow what I say. Etatmatam samadhisto paramena samadhina. By strong meditation, not strong, but absolute meditation, where you can find Krishna, Krishna, everywhere Krishna, Paramena Savadina. If you can do this way, Bhavan, you, you are not going to be, you, you, never, you never going to be hypnotized by Maya. Whereas, you are going to take the responsibility of the creation, cosmic creation. You are going to take responsibility. Still, Maya cannot touch you. Bhavanu kalpa vikalpesu na vimujyati kariji. This way, when suitable candidate found, then the post of Brahma can be given. In that case, that Brahma is not, is, that Brahma is Jiva Dattva. But Ishwar Koti Jiva. Try to remember this term, what I am speaking to you. Don't forget. No translation, no translation possible. There is no dictionary in the world, in words, which can translate this. So I am bound to speak. It's called, it is called, you know, Jiva Kati Brahma. It's called Jiva Kati Brahma. Some Jiva elevated up to this position, given this, it's called Jiva Kati Brahma. It's called Jiva Tattva. But when I already told no suitable candidate found, then Bhagavan is going to take the post of Brahma. It is called Ishar Koti Brahma. Ishar Koti, not Jeep Koti. Ishar Koti means himself Bhagavan. Similarly, about Sankat Tata, same thing. In some Kalpa, when he finds suitable candidate, then he can be given power by Bhagavan to take control over this tamaguna uh, of destruction. Follow what I say. So that sambhu is actually, that sambhu 
actually that sambhu is actually jiva tattva is jiva kati jiva kati shankar jiva kati tattva jiva kati sambhu or isha kati sambhu when bhagwan going to take the form when bhagwan going to take the form of shankar bhagwan in that case okay is called ishar koti brahma follow so about this point from bombo sangita i already told khiram jatha dadhi vikar vishesh yoga this example is absolute example applicable for bhagwan taking the form of brahma but when jiva are going to take the post of brahma and sanka is not only power only power given you can discharge your duty to for cosmic creation i give you power bhagwan giving power to brahma when bhagwan giving power to shambhu then shambhu going to take the charge of you know destruction this call this way now some so many discussion i like to do but time cannot permit what to do bhagwan sri krishna Love Shankar very much. Bhagwan Sri Krishna loved Shankar so much that I cannot give example. Like Guru Tattva, Vishnu Chakravarti speaking na, Vishnu Chakravarti speaking in writing in Guru in Guru Vastakam, Shaksha Dharitya na Samastha Sasti, Rukta Stata Bhavati Vishati. किं किंतु पुरुषों प्रिय बतशो इन बागवात आल्सो आचार्यो माम बिजानियात ना बा मन्ने तो करीचित मेनी टाइम बागवान सिंह आई एम कमिंग इन द फॉर्म ऑफ माय सो दिस वे साइमुल्टेनियसली डिफरेंट एंड नॉन डिफरेंट बोथ Simultaneously, both and uh, uh, different and different, non different from Bhagwan. So, Shankar Bhagwan is a dear most associate of Bhagwan, dear most associate of Bhagwan. So, in this way, we can say, Shambhu is non different from Bhagwan. No problem is Achinta Beda Vettata. Now, Shankar Bhagwan enjoying full kripa. Oh, Bhagwan Sri Krishna, I already, I already discussed in Biyad Bhagavatam Amrita. Shankar giving argument, no, Bhagwan don't love me. I am not Kipa Patra. Shankar speaking, Biyad Bhagavatam Amrita, I already, I already discussed. Shankar giving some, you know, judgment in favor of his, you know, Siddhanta Vichya. I am not enjoying Kipa, I am Bhagwan. You are not enjoying? But we know Shankar Bhagwan, Vaishnavanam Jathasambhu. He is enjoying full kipa. We can give example when in the starting of creation there was big fighting, you know, between demigods and demon. Finally, they took decision to churn the Kira Sagar to get Amrita, you know, Amrita to get Amrita. To get that Amrita, equal, equal effort, equal responsibility, but finally, Mahini Bhagavan going to take the form and going to give, give Amrita to demigods, and going to deprive all demons. I am not going to this in our discussion. I am not going into this discussion. But the question of my discussion, point of my discussion is that that time first of all there was very high poison, halal bees. Halal bees very high poison. It's called kalkut bees, kalkut poison. First of all, in course of their churning, first of all poison come, and who can take responsibility of this poison? It dangerous. All you know. Jiva, they are going to die. Demigods and all Jiva, oh, protect me, protect. They are crying. Then all everybody, 
Brahma Adi all requesting, you know, Bhagavan, what is this Bhagavan? Eh? We wanted to get Amrita, but now poison coming, poison coming, everybody going to die. Who can take responsibility? Bhagavan giving the responsibility to Shankar. You can go and request Shankar, he can drink Amrita. Uh, it is poison, can go. So, so all, demi, all, you know, all demigods, all, everybody going to request Shankar, Prabhu, we are going to die, find some solution. Then Shankar Bhagavan speaking, well, I can drink. Then Shankar Bhagavan going and taking Drinking all the poison here, you can find the picture. Halal poison, Sankar Bhagavan drinking all poison. But Sankar Bhagavan thinking, my Prabhu is resting inside my heart. So I cannot allow the poison to reach heart. I can keep it confined within this portion, this throat. Because my Prabhu is there. My Prabhu is there. This is also the this is also the document that he is Paramahansa number one. Those who are keeping Bhagavan inside are their Paramahansa. Say hundred percent document. Sankar Bhagavan saying, I cannot allow the poison. I cannot swallow. I cannot swallow the poison because Bhagavan is there resting. So he can feel problem. So better I can you know confine this poison within this portion, throat. So after drinking poison, the throat become in you know, a blue, deep blue in color. From them, the name, from then, the name of Sankar was Nilkantha. Our Sibji Maharaj is also Nilkantha, Sadasip. Nilkantha means going to take all the poisons and help, can help us to derive Amrita. It's called Nilkantha. Let me give, let me give our poison. You have a poison, I cannot talk. Okay, give me, give me. Sankara wants to give me. You, you, you take rest nicely. D drink Amrita. So Nilkanta means he is going to, you know, he is going to, allow, you know, going to help us to get, derive Amrita and going to take all poison himself. This way Sankara Bhagavan finally going to drink you know, poison and going to Make all jiva tension free. Make all jiva tension free. Okay. So this kind of responsibility was given to Sankar. Why? He is a dear most associate. Whenever the question of whenever whenever the question of depriving, whenever the case question of depriving all Asura came, then again Bhagavad said, Oh Sankar, you'll have to take birth in this, you know world as a Sankar, Sankaracharya, he'll have to divert all. Because, because those, you know, demon, they can come and make disturbance. Why Bhagavan wanted to deprive all demons? Why Bhagavan wanted to deprive demons? Because demons, they are forcefully coming into... Now see the... Con now you can see the condition of this world. Those demons, in the guise of devotee coming and making disturbance. Only money, 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 more position, you know, Kamini Kanchanba, nothing else. No question of bhajan. That's why Bhagavan wanted to arrange the situation in such a way so that those demonic character they can get they can get busy. They can get busy with some other thing. They cannot come. But now all contamination. Now all contamination. So Shankar Bhagavan was given, so Shankar Bhagavan was given responsibility by Bhagavan to take the form of Sankaracharya to establish Mayabad Siddhanta. Mayabad. Eh? Sarirak Bhashya. Mayabad Bichar. You will have to make some concocted, you know, Bichar or Vedanta so that people can feel attraction. This way. So Shankar Bhagavan was given responsibility by Bhagavan, you have to do this seva. 
This way we see each and every time. Bhagavan is going to give the responsibility of seva. Because if my Guru Maharaj don't love me, try to understand. If my Guru Maharaj don't love me, if Prabhupada don't love me, why Prabhupada can give seva to me? Follow what I say. At all, if Gurudev love me, Vaishnava love me, Bhagavan love me, Prabhupada love me, Bhakti, then I can get more and more seva. Eh? This is the symptom of Kipana. How I know? How I can understand that Bhagavan is going to bestow Kipa on me? Day, day by day, I can find more and more business. Seva, seva, seva. No time. It's not Kipa. If Bhagavan don't love me, okay, you can take prasadam, sweet wall, and take rest in noon time. Noon time for three hours, night time for five, six hours, whole day, like, like, here, like you know, demon. Demons, they are sleeping. They are sleeping. You know, Ravan Kumbhakarna. Kumbhakarna sleeping, na? They sleep whole day. This is your punishment. This is your punishment. You think I am in mud taking prasadam. No, you have no idea about prasadam. This is your punishment. That you are taking the rise of bhiksha, alarm. Because Madhukuri bhiksha. Madhukuri bhiksha, you are going to take and take rest. No seva. They have to get punishment. Follow. Madhukuri Bhiksha. Madhukuri, you know? Madhukuri Bhiksha. Big, big problem. If you are not going to do bhajan. So, this way we can give so many examples. This way we can give so many examples through which I can establish that Sankar Bhagavan enjoying full kipa of Bhagavan. Because Bhagavan, time to time, Bhagavan, time to time, giving seva to Sankar Bhagavan. He can do. This way, we know Bhagavan loves Sankar very much. But Sankar Bhagavan giving argument that at all I am not enjoying Kipa. If at all I am going to get Kipa, then why Bhagavan is going to require, Bhagavan giving, going to give me you know, this seva to divert people from Bhakti devotional path? Surely Bhagavan do this actually, and uh, I am uh, by the order of Bhagavan. I am going to take control of Tamaguna. Is also very and uh, dangerous. So Bhagavan surely don't love me. And also, time to time we find Bhagavan Sankar going to give benediction to different asura. Time to time we can discover in Bhagavatam and in different Purana. We can find time to time, but, you know, time to time, Shankar Bhagavan is going to give benediction to different asura. Like the case of Ravan, like the case of Brikashur, you know, why going? Eh? Also, you know, that, you know, asura, uh, what name? Uh, anyway, I can remember. You know, all the time, Sankar Bhagavan giving kipa to them. Why giving? Whereas they are against Bhagavan. Well, this is, try to understand. Though we can find externally, Sankar Bhagavan going to give kipa to some asura. They are against Bhagavan. But be sure to make fool of you. Actually, it is also as per the desire of Bhagavan. Follow me. Shankar Bhagavan is going to give kipa to Brikashur, Shalbo, Salbo, you know. Shambar, Asura, they are giving different benediction. Brikashur. This kind of benediction Shankar Bhagavan is giving to them. But still, it is also as per the desire of Bhagavan. Because Paramahansa can never do anything which is against Bhagavan. A Paramahansa devotee can never do anything which is, which is against Bhagavan. Or never. So, externally we can find Sankar Bhagavan going to give benediction to, to Brikashur, to Ravana, you know, but still, according to the desire of Bhagavan doing. 
one case I can speak. When Bhagavan Sankar was bound to coming in front of Bhikasur, Bhikasur was doing bhajan, tapasya, astridi and pinanse for to get darshan of Sankar. Long time after long time, long time is doing, you know, bhajan. In Himalayan hill, taking birth, taking bath in Alakananda and matted here, doing tapasya. Finally going to leave water, finally going to leave water, everything all, you know, everything food. And finally going to take one handful, one handful of dust particle. It is written in Bhagavatam, finally going to collect one dust full, one handful of dust particle, this. Nothing else, doing bhajan. Still Bhagavan not coming. After that, he took the sharp weapon to cut, is, is going to doing jagya. In jagya, is cutting his body, flesh, cutting his body, and going to offer. Going to cut his body, flesh, follow. Going to cut all body, and taking flesh, Shwaha, Ushwaha in fire. Finally, still Bhagavan not coming. What to do? He took the sharp weapon to, get his, to cut his own throat and throw into fire. Okay. It's, it's called Asurik Tapasya. This kind of Tapasya is dangerous. Don't do this kind of Tapasya. You can never get Bhakti, you can become dom demon. This kind of too much astridian penances can make you demon. You cannot get bhakti. So, Jukta Vairagya you have to follow. Not too much prasadam, not too much fasting, not too much sleeping, not, you know, not allowed. You have to do each and everything, you have to do each and everything in favor of Krishna Bhakti. Because it is your commitment now when you came in devotional line. Bhakti anukula matro karjero shikar, bhakti patikul matro barjan andhikar. In kirtan we know. All favorable to bhakti you can accept, but not favorable I can discard. So finally, Shakuni Nandan, I mean, because of took this to cut the throat and throw it into fire. Then Sankar Bhagavan was bound to come and arrest. Hey, what you are doing? Why you are going to kill? Oh, Prabhu, I, I, you know, to take your darshan. Okay, what do you want? I need benediction. What benediction? Well, uh, as and when I am going to put my hand on the head of somebody, he can get destroyed. Eh? What kind of? You can ask money position is no. What kind of benediction? Like Hiranyakasipu, I like to become, you know, immortal, you know. Mortality should not be, it's not possible. Brahma speaking, I myself is not immortal. I myself going to die, how I can make you, you know, Amar? Not possible. He, then he thought, Brahma is an old man. It's not, you know, so intelligent. So I can make fool of Brahma. <laughs> he wanted... Wanted to make full of Brahma. But, well, okay, he's not directly giving me. I can ask this way, paint. Okay, you bless me, and nobody can know. I can, I can never be killed by any weapon. Okay. Nobody can kill me within your creation. Nobody can kill you. Okay. Nobody can kill me in the daytime or night time. Okay. All okay. Not inside room, no outside room. Okay. All. He thought, Brahma is foolish, I can make fool of Brahma. <laughs> Follow. Now Sankar Bhagavan is surprised. You need benediction? Okay, I can give. Uh, what kind of benediction? As and when I am going to keep hand on the head of somebody, you can get death. What, it, what benefit you can get by this? I can give no, I can give you some other day. No, I need this one. Okay, as you like. Then he's going to put hand on Sankar Bhagavan. Sankar Bhagavan flying. Oh my God, that the demon is going to test on me. 
Bhagavan giving benediction to him. And he is going to put a hand on Shankar. Shankar all matted hair open and running. Oh my God, he is going to kill me. Eh? Running, running, running everywhere. Finally, you know, what happened? He is, oh Prabhu, if I go to heaven here, the, anywhere, he is, he is going to chase me. He is not going to leave me, today can kill me. Then finally going to call Bhagavan, you save me. Hey Janardhan, hey Madhushudan. Finally, Bhagavan coming immediately in the form of a small boy, Brahman boy. Hey Sakunina, why you are running? Why? Ah, I have no time. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Why you are running? It's so nice your body. Yes, so can you know sweat coming on. You, I have no time to hear you. Are you. At least you speak. I can help you somehow. Actually, what happens? Actually, he's a cheater. But you don't know. You know today? We know everybody. There is a cheater. He is staying, he is a madman. Stay in a, he is a mad. Staying in cemetery and ground. He is giving you benediction. Yes. He is giving benediction to me. When I want to test, he is running. Now you understand the case. He is running because you can catch him, red-handed. So he is a cheater. Why not? You are unnecessarily running. Unnecessarily going to take trouble. Why not you keep your own hand on your own head? It says false. Then he is going to put it on his own head. Die. This way, many times, about Banasur, Bhagavan giving benediction to him, Banasur become very, you know, so false ego popped up. Banasur becomes so powerful, you know, thousands hand. You know, he like to fight with Shankar. Oh Gurudev, I find no matching personality with whom I can fight. Better. Oh, idiot number one, I give you benediction like to fight with me, I'm Gurudev. What to do? Okay, you can fulfill your desire. You like to fight with, na? Okay, very shortly you can fulfill your desire. Then the case of, you know, fighting. Bhagavan Sri Krishna coming from Dharka, the case, you know. The daughter of Banasur was taken, you know, this, you know already. Then the fighting take place. And Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to cut all the hands. Cut, cut like banana tree. Cut, cut, all tree. Shankar Bhagavan came, Prabhu, I give benediction to him. Please don't kill him. Oh, anyway I am not going to kill him. Anyway I am not going to kill him. How I can kill? Because he is in the destiny, in the destiny of Prahlad. In the destiny of Prahlad Maharaj, I cannot kill anyone. I, can, I cannot kill him. In the destiny, I was my standing commitment. But only I like to give, wanted to give him punishment by cutting all hands. Only four hands, residue. Four hands. Four hands. Only four hands. All other hands, Bhagavan cutting like banana tree. Cut, 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 cut. All clear. Then Sankar Bhagavan, please, I, you know, okay, no problem. Follow. This way, so many problems happen. You know, so many problems, all benediction. Now, question is that Bhagavan Sri Krishna giving benediction. Like Ravan was giving benediction. Ravan getting power. Ravan going to get power from Sankar, going to misuse it. But finally, you can, you can discover, finally, you can discover that any time. Finally, you can discover that any time Shankar Bhagavan giving benediction to anybody, not it is flawless benediction. Follow. Whenever Shankar Bhagavan giving benediction to any Asura, but there is some loophole, some point through which they can be killed. Not flawless. Not flawless benediction. Shankar Bhagavan very clever. So not flawless, some flaw, uh, some faults must be there, through which he can be killed in future. This way, all the time we find Shankar Bhagavan, you know, Shankar Bhagavan, in fact, going to, going to help the Leela of Bhagavan. Shankar Bhagavan always going to manifest this kind of Leela, 
which is going to Shankar Bhagavan going to assist Bhagavan. In a Leela, Bhagavan doing different kind of Leela, always and every time you can find Shankar Bhagavan is there. Any Leela. When Bhagavan Sri Krishna took birth, there also Nandamar used to worship that that Shiva in you know there. Gokul, also Asheshar Mahadev in Nandagaon, or Sibben by Nanda Maharaj. Chintaharan, many time when, many time I went. Chintaharan Mahadev, Chintaharan Mahadev at the bank of Jamuna in Gokul. In Gokul, because Nanda Maharaj, Yasudama, they have no children, they used to worship, he gave me one children. <laughs> is one kind of you know drama. Anyway, so Bhagavan coming, Chintaharan Mahadev. In Nandogam you can find Asheshwar Mahadev. Asheshwar Mahadev. This way, Shankar Bhagavan all the time going to assist. Shankar Bhagavan all the time going to help. Shankar Bhagavan always going to help. Help, you know. In, in the Leela of Krishna, Krishna Leela, all is going to assist. This way, Paramahansa Sankar Bhagavan, you know, though externally you can find going to give some benediction to them, but their benediction is, you know, not in there is some loop soul, not flawless. Now, some vital point I can discuss because this much time is not sufficient. I can touch only. Someday I can discuss in detail, today not. Now question is that, that Shankar Bhagavan, Shankar Bhagavan and his group, they all, you know, Brigamuni going to curse them. You know, the prasanga I can come someday. Maybe evening time, night time I can discuss this point. There was some fighting between Daksha Pajapati and the group of Sankara. Sankara is not the feeling disturbance. Sankara going away. Dakka Pujapati is speaking all rubbish to Sankara, giving cards unnecessarily. Nandiya, the personal associate of Sankara Bhagavan, going to curse them. All, you know, Brigamuni going to curse them. Those who are the followers of Sankara and his group. Those who are the followers of Sankara. Sankarites. You know, those who are going to follow Sankarites, uh, Sankar Bhagavan and his, and, and his followers, they are already enjoying, enjoying mean they are already getting cars. Then, then why Maharaj you are going to worship Sankar? Why your Guru Maharaj? Why Paupat? Why Bhakti Mir Thakur? All our Guru Varga, our Banu Maharaj, our Banu Maharaj going to offer 1 crore's 108 billapatra to Shivji. One crore. <laughs> One crore, 108 billa patra, bell leaf to Sankar, giving water and milk. Whereas it is prohibited to worship Bhagavan, Sankar, what you are doing? I can give this answer very in short. In short campus, I can discuss. Someday I can discuss in detail. <laughs> Point is that we can find that Bhigumoni going to curse, Bhigumoni going to curse Sankar and his followers. You all can become demon. You all can become demon. Never you can get the clue of spiritual tattva, Siddhanta tattva. Never. Never you can get. You cannot get the clue how to go to a Prakriti Jagat. No, cars. They can become Pashanda, heartless. This kind of cars. So it is written, those who are going to worship Sankar Bhagavan, be sure they can become Pashanda. No doubt in it. They can become heartless. They can lose all bhajan. So what is the Siddhanta? So all our Guru Varga doing wrong? Do you think? 
all Guru Bhargava doing wrong? Not wrong. What is the Siddhanta Vichar? Siddhanta Vichar is that we always worship Shankar with this with this with this mood that Shankar Bhagavan is the topmost servant of our Prabhu Krishna. Nimna Ganam Yatha Ganga Devanam Achutu Yatha Vaishnavanam Yatha Samapuran. In Gita Bhagavan in Gita Bhagavan speaking, those who are going to worship different demigods, they are actually worshipping me. J O P Anna Devota eh? Bhakta Jajanti. It is written. J O P Anna Devota Bhakta Jajanti. Eh? Jajanti Maam. Those who are separately going to worship Shankar, Brahma, they are actually worshipping me because I am the man. Because you know the Siddhanta. That if you give water in the root of a tree, then all the tree can get nourishment. Yatha taror mul nisecha neno, yatha taror mul nisecha neno, tipanti taskandu bhujopa shakha, pranopa haras jathendriyanam, tatheiva sarva arhananam achyateja. We know. So what's wrong in it? So, Bhagavan speaking, J.O.P. Anna Devata, eh, Bhaktya Kantiyo Jajanti Maam. They are going to worship me. They also, they are actually worshipping me. But it is not authentic. Bhagavan speaking, it is not authentic. It is not authentic. So, those who are going to worship Sankar Bhagavan with a conception of separate God, Supreme Lord, then they have problem. This curse is applicable for them. This curse is applicable for them, those who are going to worship Sankar Bhagavan with separate conception is Supreme Lord. But not for those devotees, they are going to worship Shankar Bhagavan as a great devotee. Follow. So for them it is applicable. For pure devotees, for devotees who are worshipping Shankar Bhagavan, for them it is not applicable. This is why, surely be sure that we are not going to make some mistake. Follow. We are not going to make. So we are worshipping Sadasip by the mercy of Sadasip Adyaita Gosai we can very quickly can enter into or can return back. Follow. This way, you'll have to understand this Siddhanta. Someday I can discuss all in details. Bhave bhavanya rana pad pankajam bhagasya kitna kishna sya paramparayanam bhakti shualam bhavita bhuta bhavanam bhavapahamta bhavabhavamishwaram Banchakalpata Rushikipasana. Patitanang Pavana Bhavishna Pyurnam.